howdy hope everything is working how are you guys oh my gosh it's been forever holy cannoli I hope everything is working I hope the volume is okay happy Saturday how are you guys Oh my gosh, Baron, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. Luis, Carolina, Dino, Dino, J Rag, and did I miss somebody? Cheryl, enjoy the gifted memberships. Welcome to the Golden Nuggets. Hello, everybody. The one time it's not a late stream for me and I can't stay long. Don't worry. It, I hope, listen, I, I've been absent for a while, Mr. MSF. Um, I do want to stream more. It's just been difficult with the traveling, but my hope is that I have a lot more streams coming up this summer um, once I'm settled. <laughs> my gosh, it's been difficult. You made a live stream movie, Mike. You you did it. Congratulations, you're here. Honestly, pretty impressive considering this is the first time I've streamed in like, what, a month? It's been, it's been insane. Oh my gosh. Good evening, Kalo. Hello, everybody. Ahoy. How am I enjoying the new digs? Well, Nintendo Metro, these are not even my new digs. <laughs> I'm in a different, <laughs> this isn't it. <laughs> Which like, I think for those of y'all who are on Patreon or even who just watched like my latest video of the boys, you'd, you'd know I was in a different room for that. We are now in an Airbnb. Stuff is getting done at the place that we were at. I've been moving a lot. So I'm streaming on a laptop today. Hopefully everything works. I've been filming a lot here in this location and it's been okay, but I have had some technical difficulties. So let's just keep our fingers crossed together. Master Voto, thank you so much for the super chat. I scream, you scream. We all scream for Natty Stream. Missed you. Thank you for taking the time to chat with us. You're so busy. Dude, I am. But thank you so much for the super chat. Honestly, Again, for those of y'all who are on Patreon, you know that I've been missing the live streams because like my rambly intros have just been getting longer and longer and longer before filming because I'm just missing the interaction. I'm 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 bummed about the fact like there have been two times when I've tried to stream and then shit just hits the fan or something that's really important pops up that I can't put off and then I just have to push off the stream. So it's been it's been tough. Tom, I got married to my wife yesterday, and we love watching your videos together. Thank you for always making us laugh. Tom, congratulations. That's so exciting. Mazel tov. Oh, my gosh. I hope you have a fun honeymoon planned. Even if you don't, congratulations. Tyler and I still haven't had a honeymoon. Um, <laughs> we will one of these days. We're, we are planning one, actually. We do have a location planned. But if you do, um, let me know where you guys plan on going. If not, either way, mazel tov. Um, so exciting. Wow. I hope it was a beautiful wedding. I hope you had a great time. We love the mono rambles. I, you know, I prefer rambling when there's someone to interact with, though, because I feel like I'm losing my mind when I'm rambling by myself. I'm like, this can't possibly be entertaining. Um, this is probably just a sign of mental health issues. Danish Prince, hi, greetings, Daddy. just popping in to say hello as I'm visited by family, oh my gosh, can't watch most of the stream, I hope everything's well, enjoy the time with your family, thank you for popping in and saying hi, hopefully I will be live again soon, um, we are moving back to the house, hopefully tomorrow, but also maybe not till Monday, so hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, um, and then I'll have to set the space up again <laughs> with my equipment that I'm using here and then hopefully I can really I do have a wedding also <laughs> next weekend <gasps> ah! so finally after the wedding hopefully I can then finally like just freaking settle in to I just want to settle in I just want to I just want a game I want a game with you guys I want to do stuff I do have some stuff that we can try to do here on my laptop set up today if everything cooperates I have some things we can do it's just not gaming focused because I didn't want to tax the laptop too much I didn't know what it could handle you never told us you were Jewish are you Dennis I mentioned that I am Jewish all the time 
<laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think I mentioned it more in like older videos, so you would have to catch the right video, but I've mentioned it a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, I am Jewish. <laughs> shalom. Shabbat shalom. Um, I've been watching you for a while now, but this is the first live stream I've caught. Well, then welcome, Jasper. Enjoy the live stream. I'm happy to have you here. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Yes, Michael. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to all of our, our vets. I am celebrating with a seltzer. I actually did want to enjoy like an adult beverage with y'all today. But I don't have any here because we're, we're at an Airbnb. So this is actually probably good that I'm just hydrating instead. It's healthier. I do have a long run tomorrow, so I should probably hydrate. Last name Gold went to see it. Well, my real last name's not Gold, Jeff, but, you know, honestly, it's it's not far off from that. And, yes, Syracuse. You, fun fact. <laughs> this isn't a fact, but this is just – so I went to Syracuse. A lot of people called Syracuse, so it's SU, Syracuse University. They called it SU because so many Jews went there. <laughs> Your voice isn't insane. Don't you dare! Mr. MSF, I was about to loot. You caused me PTSD. <laughs> that was like trauma reading that comment. Oh, my God. For those of you all that didn't catch, I think it was the last live stream that we did, which was ages ago now, or it was the live stream before that. A lot of technical difficulties with, between my microphone and syncing it with the stream. Like, it would not stay synced. It was a nightmare. And I still haven't figured out why that happened. So... Over at drinking stream one, you know, uh, getting over at drinking stream one. Oh, that would be a, oh, right, Neil, right. Oh my God. I do need to do that. I do need to get back into getting over it. That's fun. I forgot. Maybe Jump King too in that same stream. That would be fun. I've never played Jump King. That would be fun. When are you going to do a military movie poll? I don't know. You know, I thought about doing it for Memorial Day weekend, but then it, the thing is, like, I looked into it, and it was, like, when the movie would get released, it was still going to be delayed, like, even for the Patreon people, and I didn't have, like, that many military movies that are really on my list that I'm excited about to watch, to be honest. Like, I have a couple, but not a ton, um, and so I just decided to pass on that idea. But if I get more ideas that I'm really interested in, I will, I will create a poll. I have to be really in the mood to watch a, a war movie. I'm not going to lie. Like, war movies are, are really heavy. <laughs> um, DJ Lowe, thank you so much for the nine months. Everybody hit that like button. You are so kind. I hope you have enjoyed. <laughs> I can't believe you've been here for... Guys, for real, though, I'm so sorry for abandoning y'all. Like, I feel so bad for those of y'all that have memberships. Like, I, I know I haven't necessarily, like made promises over here for that reason because like it's just I overcommit myself and I, I don't want to overpromise something I can't do but seriously like if you were still a member over here like thank you so much you did not have to do that I would not have faulted all of you for leaving like seriously um thank you so much it, it's too kind um and thank you DJ Lo for the nine months I hope you enjoy your badge Michael you graduated from SUNY Cortland those SUNY schools, man. That's awesome. Love all the SUNY schools. I actually, you know, dude, the upstate New York thing is like, I meet so many people that have a connection to upstate New York all the time. Everywhere I go, it's crazy. Like, we were just in Florida, and I did like a paddle boarding thing with my mom, and in the paddle boarding thing, there was a girl that was currently at school. She's like from New Hampshire, but she was going to Ithaca for college. And then the girl leading the paddleboarding tour went to like, was it Hamilton or no, what was it? It was a different school. Starts with a C, not Cornell. Some upstate New York school that I can't remember the name of right now. But um, it, it's just crazy. And she was from like Virginia or something. I'm like, why? Why is there so many upstate New York connections? It's crazy. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Did you ever finish playing Hogwarts Legacy? No, I did not. Honestly, I have not played it since the last live stream. I don't think so. Anyway, I might have actually played it a little bit. Like, not doing story stuff. Um, but 
it's been like over a month and I still do want to play it. Like I guys, when I tell you that I have not gamed at all, at all since, since the last time we hung out, like I seriously have not gamed at all. I have just been packing, <sighs> moving temporarily. This is a temporary move. We are going to be back in LA at some point. Um, we're kind of testing out the waters to like move here full time. Um, but not testing out the waters. We're pretty committed. But anyway, um, you just want to be closer to family. But it's been a little chaotic. And then we've had a lot of trips, like a lot of trips. Like I just was in Florida. Before we left, we had the Catalina hiking trip, which you guys saw a vlog of. We have a wedding coming up. Thank God the wedding is in New York City. Thank God. We only have to take a train. It's I don't have to fly. No flying. I'm so excited. Uh, but it's, it's been a lot of um, packing. I've been living out of a suitcase nonstop. Um, so have you ever played D&D or any sort of tabletop RPG? I don't uh, – a tabletop. You mean like a board game RPG, Patrick? No, I don't, I don't think so. No. I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun to play D&D. I've never done it, though. I mean, I play – I like charades and acting, so – and games so I feel like yeah it would be a it would be fun DJ Kento thank you oh shit it refreshed oh god I'm really behind oh god uh oh god hold on hold on okay oh thank you so much for the super chat echo from arcane has his own game now called convergence I think it might be up your alley it's not like league at all okay well thank you for the suggestion um I do I did love echo in arcane he's he's cute he's probably one of my favorites um thank you for the super chat sorry hiccup Oh my gosh, Honor Among Thieves is surprisingly good. I really did enjoy it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was I thought it was really light and fun and enjoyable and I liked how much comedy there was. Um, I thought it was just it was a sweet, enjoyable movie. Rusty, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my god, what the heck? What the heck? That is too generous. Hey Nat. Welcome back. Hope you're good. I really enjoyed the last walking vlog. Seemed like a lot of fun anyway. Oh, the hiking vlog. Yeah. Just wanted to say hello and thank you for all the content. Would you watch Apollo 13 pretty please? I have included it in some polls and I'll definitely um, continue to include it. But um, I, I can't make any promises, but I will keep trying for you. Um, it's on my list of sci-fi stuff. Thank you for the super chat. And um, thank you for watching the hiking vlog. I had, I love hiking. I know that like nobody watches me for that kind of content and so it's kind of random when I do it but I don't know sometimes I like to hike and just be by myself and then other times I'm like you know let's vlog it it's fun um I love hiking man I went on a trail run yesterday I've been running a lot recently and I've been thinking about vlogging the running experience but the reason I I've been like filming a little bit but the reason I haven't like committed to the idea of making a video yet is I'm like nervous that like what if I train for this thing and then I don't do it like so I think what I'm going to do is just film a bunch and then if I actually make it to the race and complete it then it'll, I'll turn it into a video <laughs> but I'm nervous to like commit in case something happens I'm like very superstitious uh have you ever been to the UK I have Sonny Sonny why did I say your name like that Sonny Sonny I have I have been to the UK I studied abroad in London actually Oh my God, my legs don't fit under this desk, y'all. This desk is, there's no clearance. My leg is just up against the desk. Um, I studied abroad in London, and so I did go to Ireland while I was there. I went to Bristol, Bristol, no, did I go to Bristol? <laughs> I feel like I went to Bristol. I went to uh, Dorset. <laughs> I did not go to Scotland, though. I need to go to Scotland. I actually want to go back to Ireland and go to Scotland because I want to go with Tyler. We love scotch and we love whiskey. And I'm also Irish and Scottish. So I have to go back. Also, I want to take him to London. He's never been to London. I loved London. I, I love the Globe. Love the theater, the West End. Um, it was a lovely time. I really did love it there. Very expensive. And the food is not the best. Um, except for the Indian food is fucking phenomenal. Um, but a lot of food there sucks. But the culture and the history and the people, um, I mean, I'm, I maybe it's because I have an American accent, but the people in the UK were so friendly. Like, I, it definitely, I'm sure my accent made me stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> so, like, it drew more conversations my way, but people were so friendly there. 
I really did enjoy it a lot. Hello from Seattle. Hi, Jeff. Sansbar White, thank you so much for the super chat. In the immortal words of Seth Gecko, okay, Ramblers, let's get rambling. It's a line from Dusk Till Dawn. It's Clooney and Tarantino. You might like it. Clooney and Tarantino. I have not heard of that one. Thank you for the suggestion, and thank you for the super chat. Wow. Um, Cambridge. I have not been to Cambridge. Uh, let's go further in the journey. Kayla, thank you for the nine months as well. That's so generous. I hope you enjoy the badge. Thank you. Um, I have a connection with upstate New York. Ever heard of Sharon Springs? No. No. What is Sharon Springs? Is that like from something? What is Is that from something? I don't. What is Sharon Springs? It's village in upstate New York. Oh, okay. No, I've never heard of it. I've heard of Saratoga Springs. I've not heard of Sharon Springs. Brain slowly sizzles from work. I've never really been in here before. <laughs> Are you working right now, Chris? There's always great entertainment to help me relax and find some giggles. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Thanks for joining the live stream, and I hope your work ends soon. Wow, 100 pounds. I know. It's insane. It's insane. Too generous. Too crazy. Um, I know you've seen it, but I would love you to react to Jurassic Park. It's 30 this summer? It's 30. Oh no. Oh no. You know what's funny? I've been I actually want to react to Jurassic Park for a summer movie. I was like thinking about doing another nostalgic movie poll where it's like Oh god, it's 30. Fuck. You know who's also almost 30? So I'm almost as old as the Jurassic Park movie. It's very exciting. <sighs> great Eric, <laughs> Eric what about Halo fun facts um I played Halo with Tyler did we finish it though I don't think we finished it we didn't finish it I did meet the flood and I did meet the creepy robot creatures that are um trying to wipe out the flood that's it that's as far as we got so we didn't finish it, which is kind of crazy. I think we just got swept up with life and we forgot we didn't finish it. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so behind, but I want to read everyone's – I want to read the whole chat. The camera looks amazing. Thank you. It's my same camera that I use, but I think the lighting in here and just with the how interesting the background is in this Airbnb is just making it look really nice. I'm glad it's working on the laptop, to be honest. I'm not playing anything today, Elvin, because I'm on a laptop. Um, <laughs> and I feel like my laptop will overheat and crash if I try to play a, a game on it. But we might practice some Spanish, if that's it's okay with y'all. I've been wanting to learn Spanish again, and I thought it could be fun to do it on stream. I also have a bunch of, like, videos. We could either react to, like, funny animal videos, or we could react to some crazy Karens, if either of that would interest any of y'all. You should play the new Legend of Zelda game. I've never even played Breath of the Wild, though, Cinethin. Like, would, the, would it be a problem if I haven't played Breath of the Wild? Also, okay, I have a thought. So, this is just a thought. Because, okay, so I had a conversation with y'all recently. If you were in, like, a stream a while back. I'm so behind on the chat. Whatever. I'm not even going to worry about it. We'll just catch up later. I can't even. I can't even. I just have to take it at my own pace today. I have to. I can't. Um... Uh, I know I talked to y'all a while ago about like Twitch reaching out to me and wanting to do like an exclusive show and I said no because the deal was crap and I was like you know I also just feel like be doing streams on multiple services is maybe going to give the audience whiplash but then also when I did like a stream recently and tried to react to a bunch of <laughs> recently because it's been a while right um, <laughs> I tried to react to a bunch of trailers it I got copyright claims so much and it was so difficult that I had to stop reacting to the trailers or the stream was going to get pulled. It made me realize that maybe like doing a Twitch stream where I just like don't enable subs and like don't have like a PayPal linked or anything. So there's no donos like it's not a monetized thing, but I just do that sometimes where we do react stuff over there. That's like maybe more likely to get claimed or we play Nintendo games <laughs> That was why I thought of that, because you brought up Zelda. But, like, Nintendo on YouTube, I'm more worried about it than on Twitch. 
<laughs> for some reason. I don't know. Y'all can let me know. Do you think that that's a good idea? Like, I don't necessarily think spreading myself over multiple platforms is a great idea, but also I'm frustrated with, like, the way YouTube is with the copyright stuff, but I also like that my community is more focused on YouTube, so maybe that could just be, like, a thing where if you want to go check it out, you can, and it's just for, like, specific games or for specific stuff. I don't know. That was just an idea I had, but I don't want to, like, monetize it. You know what I mean? Because I'm not trying – I don't want to, like – I don't want you guys to feel like I'm trying to monetize multiple things that are the same. Like, it just feels like I'm trying to bleed you guys dry, and I don't like that. I don't want that. It's not about the money. It's just about being able to do, like, content that I feel like is more restricted over here. Um, DJ Kento, again, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Speaking of – thank you for the donation. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the show Bones – but the guy who played Sweets is the writer and co-director of Honor Among Thieves. He was also the lead on the show Freaks and Geeks. I loved Freaks and Geeks back in the day. I, I did watch that. Um, that's, you know, Hollywood's a small world. Thank you so much for the super chat. That's very sweet of you. Um, two favorite things, a loud burst of laughing for comedy and when you scream no in a drama reaction. I'm glad you enjoy it. I am a loud person. J, J, Res, J Resek. Resek? I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Your first live. Hi, Sayuri. I hope you enjoy it here. Um, Dorset is next door to me. Hype. Hype, Ian. <laughs> Hype. <laughs> hiking through Europe. Are you hiking through Europe, Jasper? Or you just uh, think I should hike through Europe? That would be fun. Man, I would love to see the Alps someday, man. I would love it. Indian food does slap, Satendra. Indian food slaps. Although I will say, the best Indian food I ever had, it's not like I've ever been to India, right? The best Indian food I've ever had was in London. And I've, I've been chasing that dragon ever since. Never. It was the best. It was so good. Oh. So, I haven't, I haven't found the same quality of Indian food since. Although, I think there's a restaurant near where I am. That's, it's an Indian restaurant. It has good ratings. So, maybe I should try it out. Hello from the Mojave. You're in the Mojave, Sinathan. Wow. Is it hot there or not really? Um, I love the Mojave. I've spent a lot of time out there. Greetings from Weimar in Germany. Greetings. I love seeing where y'all are from. Tikka masala is England's national dish. Irony, Indian food is England. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, um let's see tom thank you so much for the super chat we are going to edinburgh for a mini moon i spent a lot of time there whilst in the army and she traveled up whenever she could we love it there oh that's so beautiful and i can't believe you s don't send super chats you're about to go on a honeymoon save it for your honeymoon what are you doing i mean enjoy edinburgh that sounds lovely i've never been and i would love to go that sounds like a a great time i hope you have a beautiful mini moon. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long time since I've chatted with y'all that I'm like, okay, like I feel like my, I don't have ADD, but I don't know how else to describe it. It feels like ADD brain, like, uh, like just like, uh, like you can't f focus sometimes. I'm like, okay, chat, let me, I, I like get distracted by all the messages. I'm like, read one, read one. Oi. Remember how we had the game tournament? Yes. Yes, I did. The game tournament, Michael. Uh, Spider-Man was one of the contenders. The gameplay footage for the sequel was revealed. Okay, so maybe you can react to that. So um, that is a prime example of something that would be good to react to on Twitch because YouTube would just probably get weird with it even though it's totally – like it's a legit thing that like shouldn't be copyright claims. But also I – kind of watched part of it already because um I watched Zeppelin react to some of this the PlayStation stuff although I didn't watch the whole Spider-Man thing because I like watched part of it and then I stopped and it was so long and then I stopped and took a shower so I only watched like half of it but it was like so long like it was like really just a Spider-Man showcase like what that whole showcase was Spider-Man the next time a showcase happens I will 
I will not do that. I'll save it for you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't real like I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to live stream or I don't know. I'm a bad streamer. I'm a bad streamer. Let's see. We are a friendly bunch here in the UK. You guys really are. I really do like the UK a lot. Uh oh, the chat refreshed. Oh no, something is. I'm really behind. I'm really behind. Sorry about that, guys. Joseph, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Nat. Good to see you. There's so many new movies out. Super Mario, Ant-Man 3. I forgot about Ant-Man 3. John Wick 4. You know, I should really, like, space out. I should, like, <laughs> space out the content because we're going to have a dry spell with this writer strike. There's going to be a dry spell coming. Uh, right now, you got to enjoy it. You got to enjoy the content right now because something's going to happen. Yes, it's been 30 freaking years. I can't believe Jurassic Park is 30 years old and uh, it makes me feel really old. I'm only 18. I feel so young. You should feel young, Sonny. That's good. You are so young. Enjoy it. <laughs> I honestly, I will say, I don't really feel bad about turning 30. Like, it's a meme. <clears throat> and I'll say that when I was 27... When I was 27 or 28, I actually like started to panic a little bit. And then I turned 20, I think, yeah, I think it was when I was 28, I was like starting to panic about turning 30. Like it started to hit me. I started to get nervous. And then I turned 29 and I was like, oh, I don't give a shit. Like literally, I turned 29 and I was like, oh, great. I feel great. Like I'm actually ready to be 30 now. And I think part of it is because most of my friends are older than me, like, the majority of my friends are years and years older than me or even just a year older than me. So like pretty much all of my friends right now are 30 or in their 30s or even 40. Um, I have like very few friends who are younger than me. So I feel like I'm 30 already because they keep saying, wow, guys, we're in our 30s. And I'm like, I'm not. But like, I feel like I am already. I feel like I'm already there. So I, I actually, I think I panicked when I was 28 and it was like too early to panic. And now I'm just like, oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> 30 is an excuse to stay home. 30 is an excuse to be like, I don't want to go out till two in the morning to a club where I have to pay 50 bucks to get in. I don't want to. I mean, I never liked doing that. But now I can blame it on being 30. Whereas before people would be like, come on, like you're so lame and you're like 24. What's wrong with you? And now I'm like, no, I'm not 24. I'm fucking 30 and I don't want to do it. <laughs> and I never wanted to do it. I feel like I'm I feel like I was really like meant to be old, to be honest, like not old, old, but like I always kind of felt like the stuff I like doing was stuff that adults like doing like I want to get up early on a Sunday and go to a farmer's market and then go on a bike ride or a run in the woods with a run club and then like come home and work or read a book <laughs> and walk my dog like that's what I want to do or hang out with friends but even then when I hang out with friends I don't want to go somewhere obnoxious and trendy I want to go to like a hole in the wall dive bar where we can talk and the drinks are cheap that's what I want to do you're as old as Star Wars so don't feel too bad it, you know it's actually kind of fun to be like how old am I based on like when a movie premiered like I should we should look that up I actually okay let's see what movies, I'm going to look, what movies premiered in October of 1993? Cool Runnings? I didn't see that. <laughs> A Bronx Tale? The Nightmare Before Christmas. That is how old I am. <laughs> Hocus Pocus? Oh, hell yeah. Wait, was it Hocus Pocus? That's what I'm saying. Wait, no, that was released in July. I can't say that. Are you kidding me? I wanted, I wanted to say Hocus Pocus, but I, I'll take Nightmare Before Christmas. That's fine. A lot of these movies aren't October. Yeah, Jurassic Park was June, so I don't feel like that's fair to say. So I'll say, I'll say Nightmare Before Christmas. That's my movie. So you weren't even born or less than one when Jurassic Park came out. Yeah, I wasn't born when it came out, but my mom was very pregnant. I mean, she was she was making me. 
I was on the way. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I just turned 28 over a month ago, so I feel your pain. You know, Nintendo Metro, you'll probably panic for a little bit, but then when you turn 29, I hope that you experience the same thing I experience, where you just all of a sudden don't care anymore. You're on a laptop. It looks like a professional camera setup. I'm, I am on a laptop, but this isn't a webcam. You are on a real camera. I like to say you, like you're in the camera, like you guys live in the camera, but this is a real camera. It's just connected through a cam link through my laptop, but sometimes I do get glitches and technical issues it could be fun to watch you playing halo with tyler in legendary mode oh god we were playing in like normal mode and he still had to carry me like hard he had to carry me hard <laughs> uh, but like maybe we could finish it in legendary mode i'd still he'd still have to carry me but the thing is he doesn't want to be on camera i mean maybe maybe he would like stand for like playing off to the side while i'm on camera maybe he would do it I've tried, guys. I've tried to get him to play certain games with me. Like, It Takes Two, I think, would be so much fun for us to play together on stream. But he just, he's just like, no. He's worried that, He's worried you guys aren't going to like him. <laughs> Vitor Coda, thank you so much for the super chat. I watch and like your reactions. Keep going. The game The Last of Us has a history mode that I would love to see you play. Much love from Brazil. Oh, I hope you're having a good time in Brazil. Thank you for the super chat. Um... I don't think I can handle The Last of Us again. <laughs> I don't think I can emotionally handle reliving that story, um, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it would actually break me. But thank you for the suggestion. Definitely let's react to Karen's. Okay, Pandora Wombat. I think that could be fun. I think it could be fun to try to like react to Karen's and not get triggered because I get triggered, <laughs> especially when people are mistreating customer service people because I used to work in customer service, so I get really you really heated. So I think it could be fun to try to not get upset. Have you played any previous Zelda games? I have not, Cheryl. So is it like important to play Breath of the Wild before playing this most recent Zelda game? How's Natalia doing? Good question. Good question, Jay. Um, good question. You know, I... I want, I've been filming some sponsorships recently and I just haven't, Natalia's just been totally absent. <laughs> She'll be back <laughs> sometime. <laughs> nice house behind you. Thank you. This is an Airbnb. It's very cute. It's very charming. Where are the dogs? I think they're, they're on the couches. They're on the couches behind me. <laughs> Oh, reacts on Twitch are brutal. You're going to get claimed they killed that. I don't, but it's not, I don't think, no. <laughs> my brain is not working. Oh my God. So it's not like, I'm not talking about reacting to stuff that's like not okay to react to in general. I mean like trailers, like gameplay stuff or like, Things that are okay that a company's not going to come after you for, but YouTube just will shut down the stream immediately, no questions asked, because it's, like, over-restricted. That's kind of what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, like, playing songs and, like, watching movies. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. Um, and also, like, just the Nintendo stuff seems to go over better on Twitch. Nintendo hates streamers, so I said it's a big no-no. Yeah, but, I mean, people on Twitch are playing it. I don't know. I follow several people on both. Ashley, Emily, Billy are on both platforms for the same reason. Does Ashley stream on both YouTube and Twitch? I only have seen her streams on Twitch. Does she stream on both? I think the first movie I saw in theaters was Tarzan. Oh, I don't know what the first one I saw in theaters was, but it was probably a Disney movie as well. Um, Nayla, Nyla, suggestion I just watched. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, and I really enjoyed it. I think you would really like it. Have a great one. Thank you so much for the suggestion and for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Um, Isn't that based off of a book? I'm pretty sure. Did I read that book? I might have read that book as a kid. I didn't know they made it into a movie. Man, I keep hiccuping. <clears throat> She's so far behind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I am. 
like, yeah, I am. Maybe I really should just do, should I, should I do a speed run? Okay, hold on. <gasps> DJ Lo, thank you for the gifted 10 memberships. Thank you so much. Jasper, Orja, Juan, Sinathan, Declan, Coco, Steve, Katie, Elliot, John, Juan, uh, John, Welcome to the Golden Nuggets. I hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you so much, DJ Lowe. I hope you guys enjoy the emotes and the badges. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, greetings from Sweden. Hello, Frederick. Oh, my gosh. Love the code of emotes in the chat. Scotland is on my travel list. Me too, Nintendo Metro. Danny, thank you so much for the super chat. As someone who doesn't love period dramas, I think Downton Abbey is really great and Maggie Smith is hilarious. Would recommend Maggie Smith is a gem. I love her. She's the best. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Downton Abbey. I, you know, maybe, um, I have a lot on my list, but it, it's definitely one of those shows that I keep forgetting about. Okay. Oh, I live 15 miles from Edinburgh. That's so cool. DJ Lowe. I didn't know that. Oh, I'm already caught up. No, I'm not just kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> the chat refreshed. I thought I was caught up. Wait, where am I? Oh no. Why? Why is it like this? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. Oh no. Okay. Hold on. Okay. 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 Um, we stand writers. We do stand writers, Sinathan. Yes, we support the writers. You haven't seen a 30-year-old movie that was ridiculously popular. I think you will have enough content. I, I saw, I've seen Jurassic Park. I just haven't reacted to it. I've definitely seen Jurassic Park. Um, Ian, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Nat, I feel bad for the doggos having to give up their bones the other day. So here's a little something to get them something and yourself an ice cream, perhaps. That's so sweet of you, Ian. Thank you so much. The dogs will really appreciate it. Their bones are really expensive because <laughs> they get bully sticks. It's... I don't give them one every day because it, it's expensive, but you know, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um, I lived in Edinburgh for my college years and loved it. That's so cool, Steve. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <clears throat> Wait till you're in your fifties. You know, I just feel like I'm going to age like fine wine, but maybe, maybe not. Time will tell, Pandora Wombat. Time will tell. DJ Kento, thank you so much for the six months turned 40 in August. Congratulations, but I feel the best I ever have. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Listen, 40 is the new 30, and I feel like 60 is the new 40. That doesn't make sense with the math, but just I just feel like with all the technology and like knowledge we have on health these days that we are able to take such great care of ourselves and like prolong our longevity and like live such happy, healthy lives. So congratulations, and thank you for the six months. Master Voto, thank you so much for the super chat. My friend and I say it really sucks being the same age as old people. <laughs> Also, writer strike dry spell eight equals 80s movie month. That's true. That's a great way to look at it. Maybe Predator will win. You know, I forgot. There's a lot of 80s movies I still haven't seen. So that is a really, really good idea. Thank you so much for the super chat. <clears throat> Something I'm curious about. You work in showbiz. I don't know how it works, but have you had any hiccups um, since there's an actress on succession named Natalie Gold, any of the guilds, etc.? Jeff, thank you so much um, for the comment. Uh, I, I don't really work in showbiz anymore, but my stage name wasn't Natalie Gold, so I never had a problem with it. My, my work name was Natalie Page Goldberg on IMDb. So that's that's what it is on IMDb. So it, it I never had a problem. Um, Natalie Gold is a really good name, though. She's got a great she's got a great stage name. Hopefully she doesn't come for me one of these days. That would be a bummer. <laughs> Kalo, my big sister will turn 30 soon. Hi, I feel so old. I'm just 25 and 26 in November. Oh, my God, you're a baby. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Cool Runnings was cute. A Bronx Tale so good. It goes hard. I feel like I need to look up A Bronx Tale right now. I know I'm trying to speed run the chat right now, but let's see. Because I feel like, have I not seen this? No, I haven't seen A Bronx Tale. I haven't seen it. Never mind. I thought it was an animated movie. It's not. <laughs> cool Runnings is a John Candy movie. Oh, that's cool. You're the same age as Spider-Man too. That's fun. The Natmare Before 30. Thank you for that. <laughs> I can't pronounce your name. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Just give me a second. Stain. 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 Stein, thank you, thank you for that comment. <laughs> I, sorry, uh, my American is showing. Um, I'm in the camera. Yes, you're in the camera. Oh Lord, oh God, I'm trying to catch up. Mad Max was released on my birthday. That's a that's a badass movie. Friday the Thirteenth sucks. 
as much as Jason X. The Friday the Thirteenth. Tyler was born on a. Was he born on a Friday the Thirteenth? Though he he his birthday sometimes overlaps with Friday the Thirteenth, but I don't know if he was born on a Friday. Um. Oh Lord Almighty. <clears throat> Does it feel like three years ago since you watched Star Wars? No, it doesn't. And isn't that scary? It doesn't. It feels like a year. It still feels like we're in the quarantine. <laughs> it's crazy. Man, where is Dave? Dave is in LA. I had to leave him. He's in LA. I'm sorry. Natalia is in her basement crying. No, Natalia's on fucking vacation living it up. She's doing great. Um, <laughs> Natalia is my alter ego on vacation. Does Nat know who you play as in the Zelda games? You, you play as Link, right? Link? Aren't you Link? The green guy? I don't know. Right? He looks like a little elf? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Maybe I'm making stuff up. I don't know. Isn't that who you play? Um, the lighting is great and the picture looks clearer somehow. Well, damn, I just need to fill, I just need to buy this Airbnb or rent it out. That's what I need to do, huh? I need to film here. Y'all, y'all are loving the film quality here. You should see what the lighting is, is doing. Cause right now it's just like, there's some overhead lighting that I have on that's pointed at the kitchen. And then I have two lights that are blasted at the kitchen appliances that are reflecting back at me. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I need to, f apparently I need to film here. DJ, thank you so much again for the super chat. I would say you could watch a video <clears throat> about the story of Breath of the Wild before playing Tears of the Kingdom and be fine. So it's, so it's crucial to know the story. That's good to know. <sighs> Dang. Thank you for the super chat. Honestly, Twitch is very, un is very biased when it comes to their streamers. Very biased. I don't know. I don't know anything about Twitch politics. Ashley only streams on Twitch as far as I'm aware. What what this is? This is a stream, Nicholas. Welcome. Um, E.T. was my favorite, my first movie in theaters. That's a good, that's a good movie. Um, Lion King was my first. I honestly think Lion King was my first too, Corey. Oh, a couple people are saying E.T. That's cute. Oh, I thought I was caught up. Something happened. I'm not anymore. And I, you know, I really hate it when the chat refreshes because then I just lose my place. So I just have to, Nat is making Eminem jealous. I don't think so. <laughs> I think I sound like I'm stressed. <laughs> Ashley does all of her gaming on Twitch and some chats. Billy binges does also. Emily does gaming on her second YouTube channel, but fun chats and reactions on Twitch. Got it. Yeah, I feel like that might be the move. But I don't know. I don't like splitting stuff up. I don't like, I don't know. I don't know. But maybe just for like specific <laughs> games. Are we giving birth or reading chat? We're reading chat. Okay. I'm stressed, hon. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, it's fine. I'm making peace with the fact that we're mostly caught up now. We're, we're doing better now. We're doing better. We almost share a birthday October. I love October is a great time to have a birthday, Tasha. I think October birthdays are the best, personally. I'm biased. Nat trying to pronounce Dutch is awesome. <laughs> yeah, my Dutch is, is great. Speaking of which, we could learn Spanish. Y'all want to learn Spanish together? I pronounce Spanish a lot better. Okay, I'm just, I'm scrolling down so that we could be caught up. Baron, thank you so much for the super chat. Would you consider doing another cooking stream? I used to do playing with food stream where I would play a video game and cook at the same time. Do you think you could do that? I don't think I could do that because that's a lot. Like, I don't think I could play a game, cook, and interact with chat. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, but I could do one of those things. <laughs> I'm open. I do want to do a cooking stream. Actually, the new place where we're going to be staying this summer, the kitchen is a lot more open with a lot more lighting. So it could actually be fun to do a cooking stream with you guys. And then people will get upset like they did with the pie <laughs> because the cooking won't be right. It won't be great. You know, oh, Ridley's under my seat. 
Hi, Ridley. He's down there. Does Nat speak Dutch? No. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, Lord. You could cook Indian food. Oh, that would go over great. I've never done that before. Actually, you know what I've done before? And I'm sure that like some Thai people out there would be like, no, you're doing it wrong. Um, but I have cooked Thai before because I love Thai food. So I was like, let me try to learn how to make my favorite Thai recipes because I want to save money. Um, so that could be fun to do maybe. Still waiting on that chess stream. You know, that's, that didn't win the poll. That didn't win the bracket, Renee. So, okay. I think we're caught up. So do y'all, let's, let's do, <laughs> let's do the wordle of the day. I'm going to stop looking at chat here for a second. Let's do the wordle real quick. Um, hold on. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Let's do the Wordle, and then we will react to some Karen content, some crazy Karens. Okay, I'm not looking at chat. You guys have been put away. It is Saturday. So what is a word? On Saturday, I don't know. <laughs> we play, plays. Let's try this plays oh I guess I could type I don't know why I'm clicking oh okay well that was not a good guess um so maybe d-a-n-c-e that's a good guess okay we have an n and an e in different spots but the a is there maybe maybe the n is hmm. I feel like the n would be I mean, we could try it at the beginning. I don't think it would be at the beginning, though. Hmm. No, I don't want to do that. Let's see. E A. N ear. No. What am I? <laughs> what about E N? E N. Ra Raven? Oh, I almost celebrated early there. I always do that. Do you guys, when you see like the green squares popping up, you celebrate early and then you're wrong. Ray. Huh? Oh, no. That's not a word. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. no. No, wait, that's not a word. Wait, wait, why am I questioning? Ramen! Sorry, I'm yelling in the microphone. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Did I break your ears? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You want to know why ramen didn't pop into my brain? Because I can't eat it. So it doesn't even occur to me as a word. Because in my world, it doesn't exist. Well, that was, that was, that was that, so. <laughs> we should do a poll to name a new chair. Listen, I am totally down to do another bracket, like another uh, fun, like, countdown to name the new chair. Um, not today, because this chair isn't my chair. So this is just a chair, you know. But I do have a new chair uh, in the new place that we're visiting, so we can do it for that, I, but when we're back. I'm getting trauma from my writing thesis by mentioning that word in Dutch. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> God, you can't eat ramen? No, I can't eat wheat, Lumen. So if there's gluten-free ramen, I could eat it, which is slightly more common nowadays, but most of the time ramen is wheat noodles. So I can't eat it, sadly. I have never seen the Flying Spaghetti Monster, Master Voto. But I've heard of it. I've just, I don't, I am not really aware of the goodness, though. So, no. Okay. Do you guys want to, do you want to react to Karen's or do you want me to react to funny animals? 
Or do you want me to learn Spanish? One in the chat for Karens. Two in the chat for animals. Three in the chat for Espanol. These are the options we have on a laptop. Natalie is giving trauma. Dang, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Actually, one, you say one for Karen, two for animals, or tres for Spanish. Oh, my God. It's pretty even right now. Okay, a lot of ones and twos. Oh, my God. Okay, actually, like, it's kind of, there's a lot of ones and twos. Okay, so, okay, so we're going to do a poll. I'm sorry for making y'all type, but I kind of just like seeing the number. I, have y'all ever watched um, Bows versus the World? I love her live streams, and she always makes chat, do numbers in the chat instead of doing a poll, and I kind of enjoy it. But honestly, it looks kind of split right now, so I'm going to, I'm going to do a poll. Hold on. Karen's animals espanol okay there's not going to be a squiggly line over over the end because I don't know how to do it can I do it no nope. okay there's no squiggly line over the end I'm sorry espanol You should have made a poll because counting it will be a nightmare. It's fine. I can just do it. Sometimes it's like if everyone's voting for the same thing, you can like see it. And so I was like, oh, we'll just do the numbers. But it's actually pretty split. So I was like, wow, actually people are having a tough time deciding. Hopefully this poll ain't as chaotic. It's definitely not. It's, this is the only one, Michael, the only one. Karen, Karen, Karen. <laughs> I'm typing of my own free will. I was forced to type. Why were you forced to type this? McConaughey. Who's making you type this? Are you okay? Blink twice if you're not okay. Oh, I just did a video on Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Um, Clay Station. It's, it's on my YouTube. Wow, the animals is killing it. I really thought that y'all were going to vote for Karen's. But I'm kind of pleasantly surprised that Animals is winning because, like, a Animals is just, like, nice. You know, it's just, like, let's just, like, watch some dumb animals. It's cute. I kind of am, like, really happy with y'all. You, you, you guys are so sweet. Look at you. You're not picking the problematic choice. I mean, Karens are pretty funny, though, too. Karens are funny if you don't get triggered, which sometimes I do. <laughs> sometimes I do. Karen's in Spanish. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. Blink 182. Oh no. So you're you're in real trouble then. Oh no. What are Karen's? David, do you not know what Karen's are? Are you serious? Karen's are the worst, the worst kind of people. Animals are more cathartic. I agree. If I wanted to watch dumb animals, I could just look at me. Don't talk about yourself that way. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. Karinas. Try not to laugh with water in your mouth when reacting to the animals. Oh, my God. I could try that. I just am really... I can try that. I'm just... Okay. Let me... I don't want to spit it all over my laptop. It's an expensive laptop. Okay. Clearly, animals are winning. So that's what we're going to do. Let's let's head on over to that. Let me just quickly. Fix something here. And change this window capture. Why well, want to let me. Hmm. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Nothing crazy. Oh, I'm gone. Hold on. I'm coming back. Don't worry. This was... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm here. 
I don't know. Why did I? Why is this misbehaving? Oh no. Oh, I wish I could show you guys what's happening right now. <laughs> why is this happening? Oh no. Why is this happening? I'm literally trying to click on the window capture and it's not letting me okay so the laptop is glitching so let's I guess let's do display capture I don't really want to do display capture when I'm on a one monitor setup let me make sure my display is okay hold on hold on give me a minute to delete some things Okay, I think we're all right. There's not much here. You're just going to see my... Oh, is the camera frozen too? <laughs> the second we try to change things. The second... Oh, no. Okay. Uh, give me a second. We're going to try to keep the stream going while I... <laughs> while I do something. Hold on. I'm going to try to unplug and turn off the camera. So you're going to lose me for a second. I promise I'm still here. Oh no. Still frozen. That's that's not good. I, del I literally... Okay. This is... You're really seeing how the sausage is made here. <laughs> We knew this was going to happen, right? We knew. Oh, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, well, there's that, but hold on. I'm coming back, I promise. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't 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 worry about it. I knew I kind of had a feeling this was going to happen, although this is Oh, the camera hub's not opening. Are you kidding me? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. So the issue when this was happening when I was filming was that I needed to shut my computer off and restart it. But I really don't want to do that right now. Oh, God. This is not what I planned. This is not what I planned. Maybe we can just do the react stream like <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty, guys. Oh, my God. You're getting information on Elgato. Yeah, this is Elgato. So, um, <laughs> Elgato. <laughs> you guys doing the Spanish. The Spanish. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord Almighty. I don't know why. This is acting the way that it is. Oh! oh! <sighs> okay, okay, I'm huge. huge. I'm huge. Hold, Hold on. on. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold on. Huh? Okay. okay. Some, Some something, something. Somehow I got it working again. Let's, Let's hope it stays it. this way. Holy, Holy cannoli. cannoli. Okay. okay. Hold on. I'm gonna disappear again for a second. It's all good. Oh, wait, wait, I'm going to appear again. Hold on. on. <laughs> this is what happens when, when uh, you have a laptop. Okay. okay. And one monitor. All right. All right. Okay, I think we're good. Let me just, oh, let me shrink myself again because this is for the window capture. Lord almighty, is this exciting, guys? Isn't this just riveting content? Riveting. This is all what you 
came here for, right? This magic moment. I'm just gonna add display capture. That's what we're gonna do. But let me, okay, let me close this. Oh, why is my chat? I'm echoing. Don't say that. Okay, the echo's gone now, right? It's gone now, right? Is it gone now? It should be gone now. Absolutely exhilarating. Oh, Lord Almighty. I can't ever just have things go smoothly. It's just not. I'm always plagued with technical issues. It's good now. Great. Great. I'm so sorry if any of your eardrums blew out. For some reason, the camera microphone turned on when I reset it. Um, sorry about that. Okay, I know how. I know what we can do. Actually, I don't need to do display capture, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's you guys. Hi, you're seeing, you're seeing yourselves now. Let me just. Um, I'm going to just copy the links that I have to watch over here. That's just easier. Can I switch? No. Nope. All right. Well, we have. Oh, OK. Here we go. Let me know. Hmm. I want to know if this is too loud, but also Let's do a test real quick. Y'all let me know how the volume is of like me to, oh fuck, Jesus Christ, come on. Let me know uh, the volume is like. <laughs> How's the volume, is it okay? Holy cannoli. Oh God, there's a big fly in here. Everything's falling apart. Satendra, thank you so much for the three months. Finally got my IMDb page up and running. Congratulations. It was the Spanish Karen sabotaging you. They they were. They they were coming for me. Firefox is the best browser. I do love Firefox. I use both Chrome and Firefox, to be honest. Volume seems okay. Okay, good. I tried to test that before I went live, so good. I'm glad to hear it. Okay. Let's let's go. Let's do it. Let me actually, why is this huge? I didn't, I am having the most, the most problems. I just, okay, I want to bring my chat to my, whatever. Okay, here we go. We're just, okay. I can't see you chat because I'm on one monitor. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Okay, here we go. Super spy. Super spy. <laughs> oh, he's trying to catch it. That's so cute. Oh my god. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to oh I'm supposed to try not to laugh with water in my mouth. Pray that I don't spit it on my microphone. Nobody 
Who's gonna know? They're gonna know. <laughs> How would they know? <laughs> Neurologists are stunned. Mm. They've confirmed that ear ringing. Ear ringing is shrinking your brain cells. Wow. What a panic. Friendly ad. We're not going to listen to that. Nuh uh. Okay. Real quick, while this ad is playing, I'm just going to make sure we're all good. We're all good. Do you feel the water laptop accident incoming? Honestly, I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I feel like I'm living life on the edge, but I'm hoping that I can just turn my head fast enough. Okay, let's skip the ad. Oh, no. Oh, he's like, what the f is that shit? You need to stop biting. No. You can't. Some of these are not funny, they're just cute. Good morning. Are you going to bed? <laughs> <laughs> 
see your baby coming. <laughs> you're making <coughs> your silly baby noises in the way of your <laughs> Hello, see? <coughs> These aren't really funny. These are just kind of like cute. I mean, it, they're cute. We'll keep watching. But they're just kind of cute. I'm sitting here with water in my mouth. Nothing's funny. I did that to Cody yesterday. He was sleeping and it was time for his medication and I just kind of went and put a treat in front of him and he woke up and was like, oh, and then went back to bed. It was very cute. This is cute. So many. No. <laughs> It was kind of weird with the music like why why dog library take a stick leave a stick that's so cute that is so cute come on hi hi you're my friend now bug on the table. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. None of these are funny. These are just cute. So let's try this other. This other video that I have, link that I have, but we'll see. I don't know. Oh, we have an Old Spice ad. How do I know you'll be good? So, how are you guys doing? Oh, here we go. Mint body wash. Guard Chihuahua on duty. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Okay, this one trash. might be better. Oh! oh! <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, can we chill? Okay. <laughs> Do you want some? Oh no, 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 no
patris et filii et spiritus sancti. <laughs> Maple, look. No, look over here. Look over here. Maple, look over here. Maple, look here. Here. Maple, here. Forget it.
My wife told me, don't let her go upstairs, and I thought I'd figure it out. Maybe not. Ready? If you're a homeowner in New York and you're still paying for electricity, then you could be missing out on free government as <laughs> What a beautiful chocolate man! <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Do the thing. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Free my little friend. Oh, wow. Just a sleeping bear in the middle of downtown. He's there for the winter. <laughs> Sensation. Lay. Get up there and get sexy. Go. Mm-mm. Let's <laughs> 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 Where 
where you want to go now? You want to go to the park? <laughs> Found a stick on the ground, and now I'm gonna use it. All this power that I found, gonna totally abuse it. <laughs> How to kill all mosquitoes in the area in 90 seconds. Okay. This simple but oh, brilliant wow. trick you can do tonight. I love mosquitoes. I'm going to stop putting water in my mouth because um, I'm not going to spit it out. <laughs> but this video is a lot better. Oh! Oh my god! A frog is falling! Oh. Oh, the dog's turn. Oh my god! Oh, no, no. Oh, no! <laughs> My lord, a snapping turlock. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Kitty. Kitty. Oh, no. <laughs> no, kitty. Oh, my God. Coda barks at flames. He doesn't like flames. Don't be suspicious. 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 What did I say? I told you no touchy touchy. Now you suffer the bite of the light. Oh my god. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Are you going to bed? <laughs> How did you get under there? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, she won't let him get to the stuff in the cabinet? Oh! oh my god, Jesus. Oh my god. He's trying to get away from the puppies. Born with manners, you're such a good boy! No, he's not. He's not a good boy. <laughs> he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. I volunteer. I volunteer as tribute. Oh my god. Oh, clapping, clapping always works. Coda zooms for the claps. Oh. 
Gigi. Those poor dogs are like, save us. Scooching right here if you don't mind. <laughs> it's a cougar. Oh yeah, maybe don't. Maybe leave it alone. He's like, give me the ice cube, please. Ah! Ah! Magnolia. <laughs> Her ears. Oh my god. This goose. Uh oh. Dog's away. Oh. Your bug spray should. Oh man, I really should have watched this on my account without. Ads. I literally have an account without ads, but it's, I'm just not logged into it over here. And with the one monitor setup, it's too I'm too lazy. Okay, well, how are you guys doing, chat? We'll we'll just let the ad play for a second. Hello. It was a catacal. Oh. The more you know. The more you know. Spicy kitty. It was a spicy kitty. Oh. What a derpy dog! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, that was so cute! Oh, get him! Get him! Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dude, Ridley snores like this. It's I, I I should film him sometimes, but he wakes up. Hi, Ridley. His tail, adorable. His face, adorable. His intelligence, okay. Okay, it's adorable. What is that? Is that a dog? What is that? Why are you standing there? Uh, I'm waiting in line because the cat needs the water. <laughs> waiting in line. I'm waiting in line. <laughs> Which has been going on for a while. Like you started the video just now, but he's been at this for like three months. <laughs> and... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What a good boy. <laughs> he can't do it. He can't do it. <laughs> the holding of the leash because she knows the dog will jump out of the car. Oh my god. Th see, these were better. These videos were better. That was cuter, for sure. That was a lot cuter. And funnier. Oh, it was a fruit bat! Oh my god! I love fruit bats. I just couldn't tell. the vi It was so close. The animal looked big, you know? Greetings, Ridley. There's a little Ridley. All right, I really, really have to pee. Um, so hold on, just give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. I have to take a little pee break. I will put the semi-less funny video on for y'all while I'm gone for you to, to watch. This is just cute animal. There's not much of it left, but I just have to pee real quick. I'll be right back. Hey, 
babies. You got half a million people that love you. What do you think about that? Yeah. So you got half a million people that love you. Yeah. Take care. A new one started. Well, there you go. <clears throat> there you go. Casual Geographic. <laughs> Wait, is that a real thing? Casual Geographic? We need a Casual Geographic reaction? Wait, what is that? Wait. Casual Geographic. A real thing. Oh, this guy makes TikToks, doesn't he? Yeah, I've seen his TikToks. Oh my god, yeah. Wait, I love this guy. Okay, we can watch a few of his before I leave. Let's watch a few of his. This guy's great. I've seen him on TikTok, but I like didn't know what his like uh I didn't know that he had a YouTube or what his YouTube name was. Wow, he's killing it. He's got like three mil subscribers. Good for him. His content's so fun. Okay. Let's bring that back. I had a panic attack there for a second. I thought that. Oh. Let's see. Are any of his like long form content? Oh, yeah. Why I'd throw a cactus before going into the ocean. Okay, wait. I actually want to watch that because <clears throat> I'm not much of a fan of the ocean. I don't know if y'all know, but so I went to Florida. I went to the Keys recently with my family and with Tyler, and I was really going to please our family. Like, it was a trip for our dads, basically, to go fishing together. It was not a trip that I would have gone on of my own volition and um, I just don't love Florida. It's just not my favorite state. And I really, really am not a fan of going out in the ocean. I did kayak and paddleboard while I was there in between the mangroves and the shallow water. And I was okay with that. But I just don't love the ocean. I get scared out on the open water. It is not my favorite place. So let's watch terrifying ocean facts to make me feel, oh, after this ad, to make me feel justified in my fear of the ocean because um i feel i already feel vindicated and justified in it but let's make myself feel better about being a big baby about the deep blue sea all right here we go probably the most terrifying thing you'll ever see in the ocean huh that's not real no that's real 
That thing is actually a big thin squid, and it's believed to grow up to 26 feet long. Ew. Scientists believe they hunt by dragging those freakish arms across the ocean. It looks like a uh, anything unlucky enough to accidentally alien. brush up against it. But by far, the scariest thing about this hell squid, we know almost nothing about it. Yeah, we of course. We don't know how they mate, how they live. All yeah. we know for sure is that you can find them at the very bottom of the ocean at depths of up to 15,000 feet, which yeah. is more than half the height of Mount Everest. <laughs> That's why we know nothing about it. Um, My fun fact, my friends are actually searching for the giant squid. Their project is called Colossal. I've plugged them on my Instagram <clears throat> before. Um, but they have been doing searches in Antarctica and searching for the giant squid out there. And um, they did catch like a really rare squid, but the squid they're looking for has only been spotted once and has been photographed but never filmed. So, yeah, there are a lot of squids that we don't know anything about. Here's the part that personally freaks me out. Every big fin ever caught was a juvenile, and since no adults have ever been captured, it's possible they can be even bigger than we thought. Probably this are. This sea slender man's arms are covered in tiny suckers, meaning sea slender grab, man. there aren't a lot of things strong enough to break free. Those arms can be over 90% of their total body length, and they hold it at a 90 degree angle, which makes this violation against nature look like it's T-posing. T-posing! technology improves, we might have a chance to learn more about them. Which isn't a good thing, they need to stay in hell. Well, <laughs> get more and more disturbing. Blue whales can produce 400 gallons of baby batter, but only 10% of it makes it to the female, meaning 360 gallons get dumped back out. In case you're wondering, that's eight and a half bathtubs of whale maker. Gray whales will go three player with two males and a female. While the first oh male is getting his rocks off, the second wing whale will swim underneath the female and help hold her in place for a process that can last up to an hour. Oh, wow, and fun. And for a reminder, almost every sea monster story ever told was really about a whale's penis, and I will never let y'all forget it. Sperm whales are so loud that their sound can vibrate you to death by either causing your lungs to collapse or an air bubble to form in your brain, which would instantly take you off the senses. Oh, my God. Blue whales are big, but not a lot of people understand how big. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from a little more than two miles away. They can swallow almost half a million calories at once. Allegedly, a whale's far bubble can enclose a full-grown horse. <laughs> and because I am who I am, I have to tell you that the largest blue whale penis... Oh my god, I don't want to know that! Uh, I don't want to know that! Miles. Blue whales don't spray water out of their blowholes the way you see in movies. It's actually warm air being forced out of the lungs. It's basically its breath. It's one of the most unholy smells that can ever assault your nose. Oh. Like burning rubber in a fish cemetery. Because of that video, there's now people that believe the ocean is salty because of whale sperm. Oh and I'm not going to lie, I wish it were true because of the look on people's faces when I tell them this is free therapy, but it isn't. Most of the ocean salt comes from rocks on land because when acidic rain hits the rocks, it erodes them and causes them to release salt. The salt gets carried out in streams and rivers where it eventually reaches the ocean. The reason the ocean is so salty is because this has been happening for millions on yeah. billions of years. Some of the salt also comes from hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, but most of the time yeah. when you taste seawater, the salt came from a rock, not a whale that already has. Okay, so yeah, okay, you don't have to okay, worry about okay. salty seawater. Besides, you should probably be more concerned with the fact that your perfume used to be made from whale vomit. What? The more you know. Fish you what? should be most afraid of That's how he leaves isn't us. the shark. It's the stonefish because it can deliver venom powerful enough to cause crippling pain and toxic enough to activate your life insurance in less than two hours. Oh, This great. fish is armed with a venom called Stone brucotoxin. And as a neurotoxin, it shuts your body down from the inside. Uh -huh. If you got stung, you would first feel incapacitating pain, swelling, and eventually numbness. But no worries. It gets worse. It gets worse. It always gets worse. <laughs> if you don't get medical attention fast enough, the poison would destroy tissues in the body, cause uncontrollable twitching and shaking, and eventually paralysis. Uh -huh. Meaning it would get harder and harder to breathe until you eventually black out. Victims describe the pain as getting continuously hit with a sledgehammer all over the body. Even ah. if you survive, you can still walk away with permanent nerve damage. And no, but that's there's two great. there's big reasons why this Satan guppy might be the most Satan dangerous guppy. fish on earth. One is this picture. Because the stonefish looks like a stone, it's so easy to actually step on There's four of them? When you do, those spines would get shoved up your foot. And the harder you photo, step, the more four? poison gets pumped into you. And number two, they can survive outside of water for up to 24 hours, meaning they don't have to be underwater to put you underground. Because Australia great. is the only place where mistaking a fish for a stone can get you to death penalty. You should never pick this shell up because Australia is the only place where mistaking this fish for a stone can get you the death penalty. Are you kidding me? They're found in... Sh oh, just kidding. They're found in shallow tropical waters all around the world. So they might have even... Maybe they're even in the Keys where I was. I don't even know. That's fun. I love that. How we doing, guys? I have to keep changing scenes to check in with chat. How we doing? Open water scares me, too, which is weird because I was younger. I used to scuba dive. Dude, I could never. Um, more power to you. <laughs> I could never. I have such a curious spirit. I would accept to go on an expedition in the abyss. I I would not. I'm, I'm curious, but, like, I also, like, there are certain things I want to explore and certain things I'm like, I'll just watch a documentary on it. Somebody else can do it. I'm okay. Am Amber Grace. It's called Amber Grace. Helps perfume last longer. We Is it it's still in perfumes? 
Apparently, the longer you smell whale vomit, the better it smells. Is Subnautica an ocean game? Oh, oh, sounds like fun, Kevin. Sounds like fun. Amber Grease. This is why I stay in cities. <laughs> Listen, there's some creepy shit in cities, too. It's usually just in human form. Um, I've always wanted to explore Antarctica. Wow. I hope you get to one day, Renee. Just the really expensive perfume. So, okay. So you're saying I should use bath and body spray. <laughs> Who starved this fish for water for 24 hours to test that there? Somebody. Somebody did. Okay, let's get back to it. <clears throat> I can get you the death penalty. You should never pick this shell up because it's actually one of the most venomous things on the planet. That's because the cone snail can shoot you with a harpoon at 400 miles per hour. Oh, fun! That would be like fun. getting struck by 14 Usain Bolts, because ironically, this snail is one of the fastest animals on the planet, being able to hit you wow. almost as fast as you can blink. That's not the only thing fast about them, because this murder slug was nicknamed Cigarette Snail, because according to urban legend, if you got hit by one, you had enough time for a puff puff pass before you puff puff pass away. If you got stung, you would immediately feel extreme pain, swelling, numbness, and vomiting. But don't worry, it gets worse. It would escalate to muscle paralysis, double vision, and difficulty breathing. And once you get to that point, you can go ahead and start printing out shirts because you finna be on one. <laughs> you gotta even be though on. the cigarette thing was an exaggeration, it could take only five to eight hours for them to connect you to God's Wi-Fi. Now, the problem with these snails is that they use venom to paralyze unlucky. It's funny because it's called a snail, but the head looks like a snake head. Not here, right? Only five to eight hours. Right there, you know, it looks like a snake. Venom to connect you to God's Wi-Fi. Now, the problem with these snails is that they use venom to paralyze unlucky prey, and they'll even put them to sleep with a toxin that's a thousand times more powerful than morphine, which oh. works on fish and stupid people that pick them up. Mm -hmm. They don't just use one, though. Like Tyson, they be on them combos. They can have 50 different toxins in their venom, which is why there is no antidote. The There's no antidote. Try not to die. Become a Snapchat member. Try not to die. <laughs> I should probably explain what the hell this is. That was an angel shark, and that's the worst Call of Duty player you'll ever meet. An the angel, angel shark sh will lie motionless for days waiting for anything bite-sized to accidentally pass above its head so it can take its life. Sounds like a cheat code, but there's no referee in the ocean, so this camel shark snap pads kills like no other. But you don't have to worry about them snatching up your leg because they're only interested in fish, crustaceans, and mollusks like squid. Yeah. That being said, angel sharks are a lot like electrical power sockets. They're only dangerous if you're stupid enough to poke them. Mm -hmm. Now you would think that's common sense, but because these sharks stay perfectly still, scuba divers think it's a good idea to touch them, and that makes these sharks go from mannequin challenge to homicide. Luckily, attacks are rare, and as long as you're not an idiot, this sea carpet won't fade you. Good thing, too, because there's a shark in this picture, and he may not be an angel, but he'll turn you into one. Eight reasons why this is your new favorite fish. Even though they can be up to 23 feet, over 3,000 pounds, they're 100% perfectly harmless to people <clears throat> because they only ever eat plankton and small shrimp. Unlike stingrays, they're not venomous. This giant placemat couldn't hurt you if it wanted to. They're smart enough to understand mirrors because manta rays were seen waving and I love manta rays. They're reflection. so cool. Something they wouldn't do if they thought it was another manta ray. Manta rays will launch themselves out of the ocean and they do it to get rid of parasites or to avoid predators. But sometimes it seems like they do it just for, just fun. for fun. Yeah. They have the largest brain of any fish, making them arguably the smartest things in the ocean that they'll also belong on a list with Cosby that isn't a TV guy. Baby manta rays are called pups and the mother will give birth to one or two pups every year. They're normally black, a dark brown, or a grayish blue, but there are pink manta rays out there. And no, this is not edited. This pink Aww. manta ray was found off the coast of Australia on the Great Barrier Reef, proving that that country is both a national treasure and Satan's jungle gym. Mm -hmm. They're smart enough to form strong emotional bonds with each other, and they're smart enough to ask for help. One repeatedly approached the diver until he realized that she had a fish hook stuck under her eye, and she waited patiently as he removed it. Aww. Once he removed it, she swam off. What would happen if you took one That's of the cool. meanest animals in the ocean and gave it legs? Oh, God. Well, two things. One, you'd have one of the most violently aggressive animals on Earth walking on land, and two, I know... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. I know this because it technically happened and they exist. Okay, so one of the meanest animals in the ocean and started gave it legs. What would that be? Like, shark shark or killer whale but i was shark so what's the type of shark started what well alligators and crocodiles started walking okay what is it because it technically happened and they exist 
It's a known fact that the biggest menace to society in the ocean are dolphins. Dolphins! Of any kind. They jump sharks for no reason, slap box their babies, and they have a rap sheet longer than Drake's. Ah! And the worst dolphin of all actively <laughs> tortures other animals for sport. Dolphins Wait. and whales are part of a group called cetaceans, which basically happened because this guy decided he wanted to test his luck out in the ocean and evolved to become semi aquatic oh. and then fully aquatic. But funny story, there was a group of these land animals that actually stayed on land, and about 54 million years ago, they split up with the animals that would become whales and dolphins heading out to sea. The ones that didn't follow them out into the ocean stayed on land, and after millions of years of plot development, they went on to become one of the most vicious animals in the world. In case I haven't made it obvious, I'm talking about hippos. Hippo! The African homicide. <laughs> that makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. The horse is actually the closest living relative of whales and dolphins. One's a bipolar tank with Roy Ridge and a devil's overbite, and the other's a pufferfish abusing shark assault and sea quagmire, and that is f***ing evolution. Remember that dolphin sound effect from Spongebob that was supposed to be like a sensor? You know what the Yeah, f Tyler actually used to be able to do that noise. And then he said he went through puberty and he could never do it again. He can still kind of do it, like, quietly. It's pretty good, but he used to be able to, like, do it loudly. I'm talking about... Well, that sound didn't actually come from a dolphin. It was actually the sped up laughter of the kookaburra. It's a really? kingfisher bird found in Australia that sounds like a guy trying way too hard to laugh at a cute girl's jokes. You may not be able wow. to hear it, but when you double the playback speed, you can hear the sound that cartoons made you swear was a dolphin. Wow. Moral of this video, every dolphin sound effect you've ever heard on every TV show is really just an Australian crack tweet. <laughs> How to escape the heat if you don't have an air conditioner. That's wild. This Wouldn't didn't see that coming. Oh, that's it. Oh my god. Crazy crazy. The more you know, huh? Hippos are insane. Okay, um I had sharks are not dangerous, dolphins are more dangerous. Honestly, yeah. You're probably right. I'm just not scared of dolphins though. Like I understand I've heard that dolphins are freaking crazy. But I've also encountered them in the wild and they're, they've just been nothing but like curious and playful and then they swim away. And I'm just irrationally scared of sharks. I know that sharks usually leave people alone too unless it's like a breed of shark that's typically like really angry like a tiger or a bull shark. But I just, you know, Jaws did a number on me and... um I, the thing is, I here's the thing. I don't want to be in the ocean with any creature around. Like, I just don't want to swim in the ocean. I don't like it. I've done it. I've snorkeled in some cool places because, like, I've been lucky enough that my family has taken us to some cool places. And they were the kinds of places that you go and you're like, okay, if I don't snorkel here, like, I'm never going to come back here. Like, I'm never going to be lucky enough to come back here. And so I'm going to regret it. So I did. I did snorkel in some cool spots but and like it was fun but at the same time I was terrified the whole time so it's just not my thing I don't I'm not a, I'm not gonna get in the water so I'd still rather see a dolphin than an ocean because or than a shark because I'm not gonna get in anyway um what was I gonna say I was gonna say something about oh hippos my first ever experience with a hippo was like Nothing happened, but, like, I, I went to South Africa one time when I was young. And I, I was lucky enough to go um, whitewater rafting. And I was in a kayak with, like, another person who was also young. Um, and neither of us had a lot of experience. We were, like, in a group, but it was mostly kayaks. And then a few people who felt, like, not good in a kayak were in, like, a bigger raft. And they straight up said to us, I was, like... 15 they straight up said to us if you fall don't fall out of the kayak like don't just don't and meanwhile these were like real whitewater rapids like these were to this day I've gone white water rafting again and these rafts were this this these rapids were still more advanced than any I've ever seen <laughs> and they said don't fall out if you do fall out you must grab onto your kayak. If you don't grab onto your kayak and pull yourself back in, we can't promise we will get you in time. And this is like, we're already in the kayaks. We're like about to go. Like they haven't told us this before we agreed to do it. Like I might've changed my mind. And I was like, what in time for what? And they're like, there are crocodiles and hippos on every shore. You will see them as we're passing them. If you fall in and you don't grab your kayak in time, 
and you're floating, we can't get you. We like we probably won't get to you before they do. <laughs> so we're whitewater rafting and we're like, I see the hippos. I see the crocs. We're literally passing them. I was like, this is fucking crazy. Like, I can't I can't believe that I'm in this situation right now. Like, I'm not a great swimmer. This is not I shouldn't be here. Um, and the kayak in front of us, a kid falls out. So I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh, my God, what's going to happen to him? And like, also, you know, we're right behind them. Like, we're about to go through the same rapid. Like, I don't want to fall in. So we were panicking. Um, the kid was really great and he held on to his kayak and he pulled himself back in really quick. Like, he was okay. But and no one else fell in after that. Like, he was the only one. But it was uh, it was it was really it was really something. It was really, really something. Um. So, so yeah, I, that traumatized me for a minute, but I was okay. It was fine. I'm actually going whitewater rafting again next summer, but not in Africa, <laughs> in Idaho. There's no crocodiles or alligators. So the only thing that can hurt me is a rock in the water. <laughs> so I think it'll be fine. And I'm also going with Tyler. Like, it's like Tyler's uncle runs the company. So, like, I think it'll be fine. And I also have a lot more kayaking experience now. So I'm not as worried. But I was, this was like my first time kayaking, too. It was, it was, it was a lot. Um, and they were, they were serious. Like, they were telling us and some kids were laughing and they were like, we're serious. Like, you could die. <laughs> and they were like, oh okay, um, we want to ride in the raft. Like they changed their mind at that point and like half the kids were like, we're riding in the raft, but there was only so much room to ride in the raft. So some of us had to do kayaks. So I, that, I was I was in that group, um, but it worked out fine. It was fun. I only panicked for that one second and then it, the rest of the trip was great. <sighs> There's a parody of on the internet of the Little Mermaid, but it's a shark and him wanting legs so he, he can eat. <laughs> so we can eat? Uh, have you moved homes? I'm um, I'm kind of in the process. I'm visiting upstate New York for a little while, some guy. Um, this isn't this is an Airbnb that I'm in, but I'm going to be in a more permanent spot for the summer soon. And then we'll be back in L.A. at some point. If they want to hunt you, they will. I know. The thing is, like, I rationally understand that, like, Oh, yeah. You mean hippos. Oh, yeah. Hippos. Absolutely. Hippos are just insane. I thought you were talking about sharks for a second. I'm like, sharks aren't really a threat to you. Um, but yeah, no, hippos are. Hippos are fucking insane. The speed I would have reached if I heard that there were crocs and hippos in the same water I'm white water rafting in. Y yeah, well, the thing is, you're. we were in like dual kayaks. So I had a, I was in front and I had a guy behind me. So you're in like you, you were with somebody. So you can't just like go as fast as you want or steer yourself. Like you're with another person, which is actually good because kayaks with two people in them are harder to flip over than kayaks with, in, with one. So it was actually better, but, um, yeah, I probably would have flipped myself over if I was by myself. This freaking, there's a huge fly in here zooming around. Oh Lord. All right, guys, I think I need to head out because I need to go eat something um, and walk these dogs, too. They need to be walked for sure. But this was a fun stream. Thank you for tuning in. I hope the next time I go live, um, I'm not sure when that will be. Like, I'd like to say it's going to be this coming week, but I don't know because I still have to reset up my office there. And then we're traveling to New York on Friday for a wedding, so might have to be the week after but hopefully live streaming a lot more coming soon so that I can actually play games with you guys again um, it's been too long it's been way 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 too long I hope you enjoyed watching some animal videos with me I, I really enjoy um, animal planet and stuff like that I love watching animal videos um, do you keep in touch with Grace Van Dean? Have you seen what she's been up to lately? I've seen articles in the last few months. I We don't really keep in touch, Touch Master Voto. Like, she's so busy. Um, and we were more, like, acquaintances than anything. But I always there's – there's, there's always going to be, like, a special place in my heart for that girl. She's so sweet. Um, 
she's such a genuine kind person um and like even when I worked on a movie with her like she like made like coasters for like half the people in the cast like she's just such a sweet person but um I did see what's going on with her with the face stuff and I I I'm I'm so happy for her and I you know I'm not gonna I know there's like people with mixed feelings on that um I don't really I'm not really like a great person to comment on that because I'm not like aware of you know I didn't really pay attention to phase growing up it doesn't have the same kind of like meaning for me that does for some other people I just hope that no one's blaming her or sending any hate her way um because I just I just I want nothing but the best for her she's awesome and super talented um so yeah I'm happy for her um hippos are from Africa but we also have that in South America a guy named Pedro brought them to Colombia a long time ago really you have them in Colombia a guy named Pedro is that true <laughs> that's crazy are there really hippos in Colombia that's that's honestly terrifying we don't need to be spreading the hippos they can stay in one place we don't next they're gonna end up in Australia are they in Australia they're not right it's just they were just Africa right Garth, thank you so much for the super chat. I was curious if you ever seen Lucifer. I have not seen Lucifer, but I did audition the guy that played Lucifer one time, and he was the only actor in an audition that ever flustered me, ever. I'd never been flustered, even by actors that, like, I was fans of and, like, loved their work. I'd never seen this guy's work, but he was so hot that he made me panic. Um, if you ever wanted to do amazing, your amazing reviews on the series, they all ha they have all – six they have all six well thank you for the suggestion um I appreciate it and thank you for the super chat I I don't know maybe all right guys yes cocaine hippo cocaine hippos <laughs> like cocaine bear that's funny thanks a lot Pedro <laughs> all right y'all thanks so much for hanging out I hope you guys have a good weekend a good Memorial Day weekend if you are um here in the states and um just a good weekend in general and yeah, I will see y'all soon, hopefully. Take care. Peace.